Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're not going to do a challenge run today, we're just going to do a vanilla run. And we're going to play as Judas, which is a high risk, high reward type situation as I've said many times, but particularly in this case, uh, because it has been probably close to a week, maybe even a little bit over a week, since I last played Isaac. So I apologize, there's been a little bit of an irregularity of Isaac videos lately, uh, which is to say that opposed to having one a day, there's been like maybe 0.8 a day, like once every four or five days there'll be a day without an Isaac. Uh, that's because I've been... Recording a lot of Rogue Legacy and recording a lot of Crusader Kings in preparation for a uh, day trip that I took to San Francisco to check out Magical Wizard Wars. So I'll have more to talk about that uh, later. But basically, uh, you know, Magical Wizard Wars upcoming game uh, from the guys at Paradox North, the same guys who made Magica, which is an arena based PvP game. Uh, not on, like, necessarily something like a Dota or a League of Legends or something like that, but with its own unique twist as well, in any case. I'm not sure how much I can talk about that right now, but I will bring you more on that next week. But as of right now, I'm excited to just focus a little bit on Isaac here. We have zero keys, which is a bad start. Um, especially since we are on an XL floor, and we really, really need to get... Hey, thank you, game, for not letting me finish my goddamn train of thought. Uh, no, but uh, we really need these keys, because if we don't actually uh, get any of them... Then Judas, you know, he is like a taken off in a 747 or something. You need a lot of speed just to get out of, uh, or get off the runway, you know? Otherwise, we face a pretty substantial risk of, uh, just running out of health while we are, uh, on the first or second floor because we do only start with one. So, you know, even if it's fairly unlikely that we snag an HP upgrade from an item room, anything that gives us a chance to take less damage, uh, if not absorb more damage, is substantially important. So we're just going to back it up a little bit here. And we have two of the same pills, which uh, now, okay, maybe we will have three of the same pills in a second. We might as well take all of these then. We can't possibly run into three awful ones. Friends till the end. That's fine. How about this? Health up. Okay, I wish I had taken it a little earlier. Uh, knowing that there is a health up pill in the rotation makes me... Excuse me? I didn't look at it. And I am, you know, just going back through the in investigating the forensics of that and I guess it is actually a health down pill which turns into a health up pill when you only have one heart so that's incredibly disappointing I was just about to say you know having a health up pill in the rotation you know it means a lot to me uh, because it means that we're possibly not gonna have to worry about the number one problem is Judas which is not having enough health to survive uh, but then you know promptly that fell out the window so that's kinda shitty but we do you know we have some boss fights we have Book of Belial stored up uh, if I can get some traction against these bosses, snag a couple HP upgrades, we'll be good to go. It was totally my bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, there's lots of red hearts there, but uh, totally my bad for using that pill without checking on it. But I assumed, I, first off, I was excited. But also, secondly, I was like, you know, what, what could possibly go wrong? I know what the pill is. I did not, oh, did not account for the fact that sometimes uh, the pills just straight up lie to you. So, uh, we have another half red heart here, which I will definitely make good use of. We have our shop, which I cannot go to. Please tell me we get another key drop, uh, because effectively that item room gave us nothing. Because I'm not going to get rid of... Oh, watch out for that. I'm not going to get rid of Book of Bilal to pick up Mom's Bottle of Pills, especially knowing that, you know, I might be able to snag one health upgrade, but, uh, you know, the rest of the pills might be... Or the rest of the times when I get that color pill, it's going to be a health downgrade. So if, if there were a ton of HP upgrade pills in the rotation, I might consider it, in all honesty without uh, a ton of HP upgrade pills in the rotation. I mean, there still could be an HP up in the rotation. I don't know. Anyway, long story short, Book of Belial is going to be way more effective for me. And we did get a second key, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, we do have uh, another room as well that has a tinted rock on it. I actually forgot where it is. I think it's down on the right side. Uh, so we're going to make our way down there and see if we can, you know, pick up a little extra health. Also open up our second item room. I guess we're almost at the point where the shop would be worthwhile as well. But let's let's keep it simple here to start out with. Uh, and if I can get some spirit hearts, I feel very confident in at least surviving this floor. Let's just see if we get a penny here, just in case this causes me to rethink my strategy a little bit. Oh my god, of course we did. Um, well, I, you know, I'm just going to go straight into the, the boss fight. Or, sorry, the item room here. And we get technology, too. I'm glad we got that, then. Uh, that means we do have the ability to fire tears as well as uh, our laser simultaneously, in contrast to technology one. Uh, yeah, it's a positive thing, I think. You know, I always overestimate the amount of damage that uh, Technology 2 does, but it's nice to just have uh, the ability to constantly hit enemies, with, with the exception of, uh, you know, Isaac, who, oh, and Blue Baby, I guess, who are way worse to deal with as a result of this. But also, in addition to that, 
We got a Spirit Heart and the Small Rock, which slows us down a little bit, but also gives us a little bit more damage. I don't know whether this damage only applies to our tier, or whether it also applies to our technology, but in any case, I'm glad that basically the, the last room there set up uh, the opportunity for me to get some really good stuff going on here. So hopefully we'll be able to kill these bosses easily. I would welcome getting the crate for the Spirit Heart, potentially getting a pill, as well as, um, I don't know, getting a... Uh, Key, uh, that's what I was looking for, that would actually be able to take me to the shop. So, always a little bit of a gamble when you have a uh, Book of Belial and you can only use it on one of these boss rooms, but uh, I'm fairly confident that I can beat the Widow without getting hit, or at the very least without getting killed, because I am a little bit slow here, and I'm noticing that even when I walk backwards as fast as I can, he is getting fairly close to hitting me, but okay, we're good. Uh, and we'll pick up whatever this guy gives us, and it's going to be uh, the Pentagram, so we are going very much a glass cannon build here. Let's pop friends to the end, and we might as well use our, uh, well, this doesn't necessarily make it much more difficult, but, uh, definitely pop the Book of Belial on this, and Pin will be dead any second now. Let's watch out for that, and, uh, we get the Pageant Boy, which I don't really like, because we already have money. What we're actually lacking here is obviously, uh health and HP upgrades, and not being able to get HP upgrades is a real piss off. Uh, I was hoping we'd fight Krampus in here just because I think he'd be a fairly easy kill, but in any case, I guess it's down to the next floor. We can't really do anything with these red hearts. Hopefully we'll be able to make something better happen. Uh, although that was a fairly good floor overall. Uh, we're still very much low on health, which scares the shit out of me. So, uh, can't really be affording to lose the spirit hearts just like I did there. Uh, but we do have a pentagram plus small rock plus technology too. Which means our damage and ability to hit enemies should be very, very good. We are going to take these bombs, obviously, because Tinted Rocks are essentially our lifeblood right now. And it's unlikely, in fact, very unlikely, that we're going to get enough HP, even maybe before we, the end of the run, uh, where we'll be able to go to uh, a deal with the devil. So I can kind of just throw that idea under the bus. It's very unlikely that that's going to work out. Our item room this time contains Monster Manuel. Total garbage. Um... Good thing with technology, too, is that we can destroy the poop so easily. You can see if there's money in there, and money actually is important to us. A uh, little chubby. Fantastic. I have one room, a little chubby. We fired him once, and see you later. So at this point, I should probably start thinking about using my keys on shops. Okay, now we're almost dead. Uh, it's amazing how things can change pretty quickly. Uh, let's go back here. There is a red heart available. And, of course, don't do us any favors, game. I mean, we were on the cellar last time, which is not that much harder than the basement, truth be told. Uh, but then it sends us straight to the catacombs, so... You know, somebody up there doesn't want me to succeed on this run, if I had to guess. That being said, just don't get hit by a green bomb here, and life is good. Uh, th it's the worst thing, because I've gotten pretty good items so far, even though the first floor... Uh, or first double floor, I guess, didn't really pan out for me in a, like, a maximally, objectively effective way. Like, I didn't get to go to the, the shop, I didn't go to the secret room either. Um, despite that, we have, like, a really good base here to build a run on, uh, especially given our high damage, but sadly we just lack any kind of, like, sustainability when it comes to health. Okay, so we can definitely go to the shop if we find it. Uh, each of these... Pennies may, in turn, turn into a half-red heart, which might become important later, although we do still have one kind of sitting on the map. You never know, you might get lucky. Uh, and I think this is a very good opportunity for us to use the Book of Belial to hopefully take this guy out without getting hit, because otherwise, uh, I could definitely see myself kind of hemorrhaging damage against him. Against it? Against them? I don't know what the proper pronoun is when you're fighting a, a beast like this that may be genderless and may also be a single entity, uh, or it may be many entities combined. But anyway... Envy is dead. I'm happy with that Book of Belial use. Not so happy with the troll bomb we got at the end of it. Would it be so much to ask to just get a single spirit heart and say, Okay, well, we might be able to get some spirit hearts from this. Knowing my luck, now that I actually don't need a key on this floor, at least not urgently, they'll probably give me several keys. Uh, that'll open up that chest, though. Thank you very much, green man. Uh, and that gives me another nickel. Unfortunately, I definitely do still have to use a bomb because this uh, tinted rock could provide us salvation and eventually save us in the game. Probably get a little bit of extra health there. Indeed we did. And with two bombs left, secret room still a possibility. Uh, we might not... Well, let's just go to our shop first. So our shop has Bum Friend. Which at this point, I kind of feel like I have to buy. Uh, we have four possible locations for the secret room. I bought Bum Friend, and I'll, I'll try to pick up the money myself for now. Uh, but what I'm thinking is later in the game, he can drop consumables for us. Or if I'm already over 15 cents and I really need a key or a heart or something like that. He might be able to, to pan out for us. It's not a great item, uh, but I do remember watching uh, Edmund McMillan's wife, uh, Danielle, was streaming The Binding of Isaac once, and uh, yeah, of course, don't give me any health upgrades. Don't do me any goddamn favors. Uh, and she's like, should I take the bump friend? And he's like, yeah, it's like, it, it will always pay for itself, basically. Anyway, let's see what this pill is. Bad gas, all right. 
We'll take our Hermit card, mostly just to save us a key, and I do want to roll with the Bloody Penny just in case. Again, no real uh, crazy items from that deal with the devil. Not that we could really take them anyway, because we still haven't gotten an HP upgrade. And at least this time we are on the caves. So, uh, I am interested... I can't believe I got hit there. I'm very interested, in fact, in using a uh, the Hermit card to go to the shop, but I would like to get three extra cents first. I don't think that's an unreasonable ask. That extra Spirit Heart is very important. And now that we have two keys and uh, the Hermit card, it's possible I could go to... Oh my god. I could open a golden chest or go to a library or something like that. Okay, I've lost a whole Spirit Heart fighting these fucking Mega Man style turrets, which is the worst because it never should happen, but in any case. Right now, uh, our chances of winning this run are really bad, and it's not because we're not doing a lot of damage. It's simply because we, through the luck of the, dr the draw, through RN Jesus, as uh, Alpaca Patrol says, uh, we sadly just haven't gotten any HP upgrades. In fact, it's pretty surprising that I'm still alive in the first place, uh, and the only reason for that is that I've been fairly lucky with getting Spirit Heart Drops. Uh, more luckily than one might expect on an average run anyway, so um, we will destroy... Now the good news is with Bloody Penny, there is a reasonable chance that we can play the Blood Bank ad infinitum and possibly earn an HP upgrade for ourselves. Okay, so it didn't work out right off the bat there, but we are definitely at, you know, shop buying level. Uh, please give me two... No, bomb friend! You are a shitbag. Okay, so we are fighting Super Greed, kind of expected something like this would happen. Uh, this should give me more red hearts, though, because recall... Okay, just be a little cautious here. Uh, recall, recall that with Bloody Penny, if this guy drops uh, an F-ton of nickels or pennies, uh, I should get a ton of red hearts, and I can use those to go to the Blood Bank. Instead, he just dropped the quarter. I mean, I guess that's fine, too. And the Hero Font card is, is beautiful as well. I wish that we could possibly earn that HP upgrade from the uh, uh, arcade, but it seems unlikely now. Other good thing about the quarter is that it basically means uh, that I can, with confidence, probably give uh, all of my remaining money to the bum friend. Uh, and he just picked up that nickel and gave me a half red heart. So, if we can go back and try that arcade one more time, we do have the portable slot machine, which, uh, you know, why bother? We've gotten a lot of uh, my least favorite space bar items. I believe they're like portable slot plus IV bag or portable slot plus uh, blood bank is like an exploitable combination, but I don't know how to exploit it, so uh, I'm just going to ignore that for now. I just picked it up to take it out of the rotation. Baby steps! What can I say? So, uh, we're going to go back in here, and you know, every time I play it, there is a reasonable chance that I get a half red heart back that just hasn't worked out for us so far. Oh, there's another penny. Fuck you, bum friend. Okay, there we go. So we picked this up. And we should be able to, like, maintain our health if he drops one or two cents each time. We have to get a little lucky. Oh my god, I can't believe that that hasn't worked out for us. So we didn't really get anything as a result of that, unfortunately. Uh, do we want to go up and to the right? I suppose... why not? Basically, I would love to encounter a Judgment. If we end up somehow beating this run without ever picking up a single HP upgrade, I would be, uh, like, half thrilled, but also half completely incredulous that it actually happened. Uh, like, I would find it especially hard to believe, but, uh, you know, maybe we get a deal with the devil for a one heart mom's knife deal, and then we just start rolling on permanent Polaroid invincibility. Who knows, man? Stranger things have happened. Uh, and of course, there is a range upgrade for us, which is barely worth picking up, I guess? Like, I, I, I don't really think it's gonna be super effective for us, but we might as well take it, just because, you know, maybe we'll get a consumable drop from fighting these bosses. And these are the first floor boss bosses, so, um... Let's just say, hopefully, those are the last two bits of damage I take. We are going to be fighting Larry Jr., which I should be able to basically uh, kill in one pass. Uh, very bad play against that Monstro. But again, thankfully, Spirit Hearts have been dropping fairly regularly, so I'm not at risk of dying, at least immediately. Uh, but, you know, I, I've definitely played better uh, than I am right now. That being said, desperate times call for desperate measures. Hopefully, we'll, we'll throw some Hail Mary passes and other various sports cliches. Uh, I'd score a goal in injury time of the FA Cup. Uh, get a sweet banger at the at the Ashes. I don't know anything about cricket. I'll, I will just admit that right here. So, that was an easy room. We gotta be coming up to the boss fight, like, momentarily. Uh, maybe even on this very next set of rooms. But there also might be, you know, a library down here or a uh, curse room of some sort. Probably won't go to the curse rooms because I'm a piece of garbage. Could get this heart and then go back to the blood bank. But at some point, you know, absurdity loses. Uh, to rationality and lack of time, so I'm just not going to do that. Instead, we'll pick up a key, which is fantastic, and our boss is Gertie, which is, uh, this is the champion version of Gertie, I believe, that does not actually shoot bullets, it just creates enemies, which is awesome, because that is, uh, I guess, ideal for us to be fighting right now. I am going to take out that, uh, well, I already took it out, that, uh, nub, uh, 
but by doing this, Gertie should basically fall by the wayside. We'll probably earn another deal with the devil because I haven't taken any damage on this boss fight, uh, at which point I, I, it's gotta either be Krampus or contain like a one hard mom's knife deal to be useful for me. We get a speed upgrade. I wasn't even holding out hope for an HP upgrade. Those have been removed from the game somehow. Uh, and these are all two hard deals that I can't take because they would re remove uh, all of the health that I have as much as I would love Spirit of the Night. So onwards we continue with this strangest of runs. Uh, with six bombs, now I can probably lend a little bit more uh, serious thought to the idea of uh, going to the secret room. Until now, the, the layouts have been very confusing. Oh, not, I, I should give that to Bomb Friend also. Uh, not confusing, uh, but there have been many possible locations. So just keep this up. Uh, I, I can't believe we're still alive, but I also can't believe that uh, we're, we're doing as well as we are. It, it's weird. Normally, it's not unprecedented, but very unlikely that you would be on the fifth floor as Judas, never having gotten an HP upgrade and still doing, like, fine. Like, we're not doing great, but we're, we're not at immediate risk of death. All right, bum friend paid out very nicely there. We actually got a balls of steel pill out of that as well. So that was well worth the 11 cents. Two keys and two spirit hearts, I would say. Uh, we're definitely going to go to our shop here. I don't... Oh, come on. Are you serious? I... Oh, okay, now I'm hemorrhaging health. Really badly, actually. Bump friend, you pick up this money. And you pay out with something beautiful. More keys. That's actually kind of fine. Uh, this is great, actually. We will take our 9 volt and also our spirit heart. And we might as well buy the key, just in case. That gives me a guilt-free... Um, golden chest that I can open. It's gonna be, a, the, the swings are gonna happen more fast and furious now. If I can get to mom with like one and a half hearts remaining, very confident that I could beat her. Uh, that sounded a little bit off color. Thank you for finding the secret room for me. Now I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, and we could get a ton of red hearts in there. Not that it, oh, sorry bump friend. That was totally my bad. Unicorn horn. Well, we'll pick it up uh, and take it out of the rotation basically. Uh, because I want to stick with Book of the Lyle. It's a very solid item. Maybe a little bit more boring than the Unicorn Horn, but I, I like it, so... Sucks to your ass, Mar. Luckily, we do have, uh... The technology upgrade here, so we can just fire these in from afar. Uh, I I'm gonna go ahead and say that that key is probably ungettable, but Bum Friend can at least pick up this money and give me a health up pill. Okay! Now we're cooking with gas! Now I don't feel so bad about uh, losing that health up pill earlier, like with the, by making it a health down, uh, because this this is the maximum benefit I could get from this pill, regardless, right? Like, just by um, virtue of having as little health as I do, uh, we can actually make this a health up pill. I, I don't really want the uh, child's heart. I think it's a pretty bad item. Oh, bump friend, you could pay out with something amazing here potentially. Uh, goat hoof, which is like a speed upgrade, and a red heart, which is actually important. Uh, all these other trinkets. Not so much. So let's just make our way through here. We should be able to slide through without getting hit. It was a little close, but we're okay. I should be using uh, Book of Belial more often. This is a, my number one complaint about my uh, Binding of Isaac play. Obviously, everyone else's is that I'd never go to the curse rooms. But my number one complaint about my Binding of Isaac play is that I uh, always suffer from too good to use syndrome. Uh, okay, Book of Sin. By the way, worst item rooms that we've encountered in a long time. What did we get? Monster Manuel, uh, Portable Slot, Book of Sin. And there was one on the first floor that didn't want, like the, the coin purse, which effectively kept me at low health for a while. Even though I could have prevented it, it, it played a major contributing role as well. So, I would say the item rooms have been pretty piss poor for us so far. It's, welcome back. Well, but fuck you in the game. I don't actually know the tune of the Welcome Back Cotter theme song, and I can't sing. So, uh, that was probably an ill-fated joke from the start, I would say. Bump friend was quick on the draw on that one. What do we have in our, eh, it's not worth it for me. At this point, uh, kind of just number one focused on survival and uh, actually getting to the boss room here so that I don't find myself uh, deceased in, well, it wouldn't even be record time. Got, this is what I mean, like I'm looking down at the clock and I'm like, it's already been like 19 minutes on this run. That's pretty good. I, I would have expected that if we didn't get an HP upgrade as Judas, we would have lost well before this. So Bump Friend uh, has the ability to fly. Just gonna sneak past, oh my god, now I have to come back and get this key. You Asshole. Okay, we're still fast enough to make it though. Bum friend, go pick up this penny down here just in case. Alright, well maybe later you'll pay out with something. That's fine. I appreciate it. It's a long-term investment. Keep it up here. Just be a little guy. I can't believe- I always suffer from not being able to really tell the perspective on these shots. So I feel like sometimes I shouldn't be hit, but I am. More bombs for us. Uh, hopefully we are fighting a boss that is not so bad here. To be honest with you, this is a bad boss, and you know that, but uh, because I have technology, 
or Technology 2 to be 100% accurate. Uh, it should be easier than average. Simply because once the heart dies, which should happen any second now, because I do have Book of Belial, and decent base damage as well, very much worth noting, uh, I can just hit this guy continuously. Our tears won't hit him, but our technology will hit him. And I believe that the mask has a pretty low amount of health to compensate for the fact that on most builds, he's very, very difficult to hit. So I wouldn't expect him to last too, too much longer. Uh, that being said, still a tough boss fight. I did take half a heart of damage, but no big deal. And we get Squeezy, so we get a Tears upgrade and some more Spirit Hearts. The game is still refusing to give me a proper HP upgrade, but that's okay. We're, we're making do without it. And we're on Necropolis, of course, because we've only had one non-alternate uh, floor this entire time. Otherwise, you know, it'd be far too easy. We got get, uh, Troll Engine's like, you got 560-something episodes, motherfucker. Just figure it out. You should be able to deal with adversity like this. And the commenters nod their heads in unison. Okay, I went into that room by accident. Uh, but we did pick up some bombs as a result. Fantastic. I was really hoping that golden chest paid out with something a little bit more immediately valuable than a couple of bombs. But if we make it to the mom's heart fight, which is not a certainty, uh, to put it politely, not a fucking certainty is uh, probably the impolite way to put it. What can I say? I'm a very simple man. Yeah, just be cool here. We are going to finish this room, though. Uh, and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Largely because a lot of the enemies we fought had fairly low HP. Uh, and thank you for that half red heart that I will probably never get the chance to use. So, we're looking for, uh, yeah, arcades. Why not? Uh, we still have bloody pennies, so I still feel like this could happen. Alright, there's the match stick. I, I really want Bum Friend to not take the money, you dickwad. Okay, so you come over here. And then I'm gonna run back in this way. Alright, I got one of those. I can't believe there this roundabout shit that we have to do just to not have our money stolen by this piece of garbage. Wow, what a dick. Alright, so he dropped a single bomb there. Uh, we have to leave. Bum friend trolling the shit out of me. I would say it is time to continue going to another room. Oh, it's the curse room. Northern line, go to the curse room. I refuse. Your advice falls on deaf ears. It's probably very good advice, but I'm a very stubborn man, so... Uh, what can I say, really? I have nothing to offer in my own defense here, except I am sorry. Uh, let us go up and to the right. We're definitely, you know, in the market for the shop. Recall, the especially st stupid part of me not using Book of Belial is that I did just pick up the 9 volt. So I should seriously, like, whenever I find even a half-difficult room, uh, which this would still not qualify, probably, under those conditions. But whenever I find a room that's even halfway difficult, uh, I should just use it because it's going to recharge in, in three rooms instead of four, I believe. Bum friend, there's a penny up here. Why don't you uh, irritate the shit out of this guy instead of me? There we go. Do you have anything for me? Didn't think so. And the uh, worst item rooms in the world continue, and this time they actually paid out with something quite nice. All stats up means extra damage, extra health, speed, range, and tears. Uh, plus the sweet halo over our head. It doesn't atone for all of the things we've missed in other item rooms. Uh, but it's definitely, you know, it leaves us in a better position moving forward than we were mere moments ago. So I, I appreciate this. It's not going to save the run. Uh, it might give me enough HP to take a good deal with the devil, though. Let's see what this is. Bad trip. All right, that cost us a spirit heart. Not the end of the world, in all honesty. Uh, I'm going to pop Book of Belial. This is a room that I would describe as halfway difficult. And then, despite popping Book of Belial, still took damage. Probably very close to taking uh, two damage. Two damages? Two pieces of damage? Two discrete instances of damage there. Oh, this would be also a very good Book of Belial room. Maybe Book of Belial is a, a three-room charge, actually, once... Or a two-room charge, sorry, once you have uh, nine volts up. Okay, so now we are at the point where I'm very frightened about our health and uh, health-related accessories. We still have our shop to go to, and obviously Nun's Habit, uh, Battery would be the ideal choices here. Not really interested in getting rid of Book of Belial for something like the Blue Candle. Would probably buy Book of Revelations just to overpay for a Spirit Heart. Um, let's check out what we got in here. Nun's Habit, okay, well that solves that problem to a certain extent. Uh, if I had two more cents, just two more cents, I could pick up, uh, Another spirit heart, which would make me feel a little bit more confident. But what did I say? If I can get to mom with uh, a heart and a half, I feel good about my chances. And from then, anything can happen. It's sort of unlikely that anything will happen, but uh, the fact that we're still alive here is pretty amazing. Okay, with only three cents, I gotta try it, just because it's the ultimate Hail Mary. Uh, we're, we're unlikely to go back to get that uh, spirit heart anyway, so... From the shop, that is. Not just one sitting randomly on the ground. That would make me an idiot. Uh, but we should be able to finish off mom pretty quickly here. 
Uh, keep in mind that I do a ton of damage, especially with Book of Belial at work. This is the regular version of Mom, which is fairly easy. We are about 40% through her health, I would say. Uh, crossing the 50% threshold and getting lower and lower. Now we have some crowd control that we're going to have to worry about, but uh, worry is kind of a strong word because we are about 80% done with Mom and haven't even really come close to taking damage yet. One more pass will make this uh, done, essentially. Let's be a little cautious here, and that'll do it. Fantastic, and we snag an HP upgrade. Much to my surprise, and I'll admit to a certain extent my chagrin, because that was kind of my thing on this run so far, was, hey, no HP upgrades, but we're still alive. Now we've reversed our fortunes. We have no spirit hearts. Uh, let's, let's check it. Pretty fly. All right, that's good. Um, we have no spirit hearts now, but we, uh, oh, we have one spirit heart. We have less spirit hearts and uh, a decent amount of HP upgrades, although let's be honest. Uh, four health is not going to take me to the end of the game unless something miraculous happens. Uh, that is a fish head, which I can't really do anything with. I definitely should have let bum friend get that, but what can I say? Sometimes I am a short-sighted and rash-thinking man. We are just gonna kind of work our way around here. I don't anticipate taking damage against Gemini here, but stranger things have happened, I suppose. One should detach from the other pretty soon. See, we're not doing, like, insane damage. This is why I would definitely pick up, uh, Mom's knife if we do get the opportunity. I'm not sure what else scales well with technology, too. Just straight damage upgrades, obviously, but, uh, sure we earned a spirit heart for our troubles there. We do- we do not have a map, we do not have a compass. These are items that I, I wouldn't necessarily say I consider, uh, borderline essential for this part in the game. Uh, but definitely an, an enormous asset if you can manage to get them. Uh, which we don't, so, uh, you know, you gotta make do with what you got, I suppose. Uh, we are gonna get tons of Book of Belial charges, that's for damn sure. Please, there we go. One is dead, and now we should be able to get out of here without taking any more damage. And we got, uh, our health back, although we did lose the Spirit Heart on that room. And we are on a dead end. Which is, you know, it sounds bad, but it's actually fine, because, uh, now we know exactly which way not to go. Bum friend is not interested in paying out there, which is understandable. And despite the fact that this has not been a great run from a drops perspective, um, it's been quick. I'll give you that. You know what? As much as I've complained about item rooms, item rooms did also give us uh, technology 2 in the first floor, or on the first floor. Without technology 2, it might be unlikely that I would have ever survived this run in the first place. So, uh, again, that's what I, you know, try to be thankful for the things that you have, even if it's not that much. It's the more you know, the Binding of Isaac PSA. Uh, with technology 2, yeah, I was able to kill him without putting myself into too much risk. Yeah, uh, probably should have just used Book of Lyle on this room. Probably should bomb my way out of some of these rooms just to speed things up, but, uh... I'm not in that place yet. I, with 19 bombs, I, I really should. Especially on rooms where I'm, like, guaranteed to take damage. I almost feel like there's a, a meta game around bombing your way out of rooms that I just don't have any part in, and if I just took some time to learn those skills about, you know, how to not take damage while bombing yourself out of rooms, uh, I would be in a much better position. So we'll save this Wheel of Fortune card on the off chance we make it to the chest, and it is a, a very off chance right now. Um, this will give us, uh, basically a free item. So if I get a better card, I wouldn't hesitate to get rid of this, but, uh, for now, could pay out eventually later with something a little bit more effective. We get another Polaroid drop. Thanks a lot. Uh, and remember what I said earlier. I was like, maybe I'll just end up taking a deal with the devil and we'll roll entirely on spirit hearts. Well, sometimes things don't turn out exactly the way that you planned. Uh, we're actually in exactly the opposite position. We have uh, some health now. Uh, we And we have the Polaroid, but no permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, again, uh, you can't always get what you want, I suppose. Should be using Book of Belial a little bit more. Because, you know, in all likelihood, I'll probably take damage on the boss fight anyway. So it's very unlikely that I'll find myself in a position, as we get 12 keys now, uh, where I will not be able to use Book of Belial on a boss fight. And in fact, if I don't use Book of Belial on a boss fight, it's probably an indicator that something good happened, because it means I didn't get hit. So that might be um, causation working in the wrong direction, but I don't care. Let's come up here, and then we'll get out safely, and Treasure Chest will be in a place where I can open it without getting hit. And it's going to be a damage upgrade, and we're all going to be happy campers. Oh, well, it was Tammy's head, actually. Uh, I, I should have picked it up to take it out of the rotation, but I didn't want to accidentally walk over the spikes again and possibly cost myself, you know, like, my whole life. Uh, so, maybe that was a bad decision. I mean, I guess it was definitely, like, objectively a bad decision. But anyway, now we've knocked Mr. Boom out of the rotation as well. Uh, Tammy's head shows up so often by this point of the game. I would like to point out as well, of course we're on the alternate, kind of like more difficult uh, type of floor as well. Because otherwise it would be far too easy, wouldn't it? So, oh, I can't believe I got, I, can, I totally believe I got hit there, but still, pain in the ass. Uh, and I can definitely believe I got hit there as well, but uh, that one hurts even more. Because we are now one hit away from death, and I'm feeling like pretty soon we're going to be like, goodnight sweet prince. Uh... 
Okay, just a couple more shots down here. And if I can stay behind these rocks, I should be okay. A little bit more. Oh, that should be good. All right. And the pill is, that's a health upgrade, but it's actually a health downgrade in our current situation. So, you know, that sucks pretty hard. Uh, well, there's a health upgrade. Uh, there might even be a secret room, in fact, over here. So maybe Bump Friend would pay out with something. No such luck. All right, let's do this. Um, Utero 1, who's our boss? It's Death. Maybe the most difficult boss that we could fight against at this point. We do have shots that travel through his body, though. Which means that the sights should be uh, fairly easily killed. And he's pretty soon just going to dismount. Uh, which is great news for me. It also means it should be easier for us to kill these zombies. Now, the bad news here is that we're going to get one cube of meat. Which is uh, functionally not that useful for us right now. That being said, we're alive. So, you know, that's a, a pretty huge positive in the whole scheme of things, I suppose. Uh, I didn't expect him to come up there. I thought we were going to get him there. Or there. I always, I always misestimate. No, nope, no deal with the devil either. Uh, I always fail to estimate how much health the horse has remaining. Sometimes I think it's a ton and it's not. And sometimes I think it's a, a little and it's a ton. But it seems like whatever I think. Well, you know, whatever people say I am, that's what I'm not. As the Arctic Monkeys would say. Now we are back up to three health. Don't get hit here. Just don't, We can just walk into him. You have the cube of meat and everything else. Easy peasy. Can't really do anything with this HP upgrade. I expect that it is essentially just going to function exactly as a spirit heart to us right now. We got double sloth all the way across the sky. But uh, presumably I should be able to kill them fairly easily given that my damage is quite strong. So we'll just wait until they are on the chosen path. And then we should be able to kill them. Or kill him, I guess, because there's only one left at this point. Uh, pretty easily. I don't want to get too close, just in case there is a, uh, you know, green shot that comes in exactly like that. That didn't even clear out that much space for uh, me to maneuver here, so... Yep, and I ended up taking damage just because of a severe lack of patience, I would say. So we have another Wheel of Fortune card. What do you got for me? Red Patch, and uh, Bomb, and uh, Chariot. Okay. Uh, Chariot card might actually be more effective than the Wheel of Fortune, just because I'm thinking realistically here, and I'm like, you know, we're, we're not going to make it to the chest unless something um, truly amazing happens. I mean, it would be fantastic to get to the chest, don't get me wrong. I just think it's not very likely at this point. Uh, bum friend not interested in paying out, that's okay. And if we find our boss room soon enough, we may stand a chance. May stand a chance. May being, like, far and away the uh, defining word there. Uh, not a chance to win the game, but a chance to beat mom's heart, I would say. With uh, technology and Book of Belial, uh, we should be able to do really excellent crowd control, not to mention that we have 21 bombs, uh, starring Johnny Depp and Jonah Hill. So I, I'm expecting that uh, it's not going to be too, too bad, but getting there is going to be the hard part. And again, of course, I can't stress enough that we are naturally uh, on the harder version of the floor, because again, the game's uh, not pulling any punches right now. I haven't been playing fantastically, uh, but the fact that I'm still alive actually does feel like a, a testament. Not to, It sounds like a... Uh, I am very self-inflamed to say, but a testament to my skills to a certain extent. I'm not necessarily saying my skills are great. Uh, obviously, there are many, many hundreds, uh, if not thousands, of better Binding of Isaac players out there. But a testament to the fact that, uh, you know, now and then, I can at least play not terribly. Uh, he says as, uh, well, okay, we should definitely pop the Chariot card here. Which I did. And uh, if none of these guys die, they should die soon after. Thereby making this room not the apocalypse for me. Oh, bum friend paid out with a heart. I'm glad I didn't take that penny by accident. So, you know, two and a half hearts. Is this enough to take mom's heart completely out? Yeah, and we are at the boss fight here. Oh my god, I got hit by, like, the worst enemy I could possibly imagine getting hit by at this point. Well, maybe not the worst. If there was, like, a single fly or something, that would probably piss me off a little bit more. All right, bum friend, you're going to pick up this penny. You're going to drop some spirit hearts, and we're going to be good to go. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Well... Mom's heart with one and a half hearts. Um, fuck my superstitions. We are going to pop Book of Belial straight away. And this should allow us to uh, beat these guys at their own game. Now, let's just start dropping some bombs in here. In addition to these bombs, obviously, we have these fairly damaging tears and lasers. Uh, which should make this fight definitely doable. I mean, getting into the cathedral on this uh, would be pretty spectacular, in my opinion. Uh, so I would consider that a small victory in its own right. Then again, if we could somehow manage to beat the chest, I mean, recall that we're not going to get even any items here. Uh, but if we could somehow beat the chest with our existing state, uh, that would be pretty amazing. I think it's unlikely, though. With, especially with one and a half hearts uh, and a Polaroid trinket that is functionally worthless for now. We do have Chubb. I really thought we would be finished with this boss fight a little bit faster than we actually have been finishing it. That was really close to me taking some uh, devastating damage. 
Uh, and there we go, half a red heart and bum friend can pick up this penny and uh, we're good to go up to the cathedral. Still alive, much to my chagrin, I suppose. Uh, because I really thought that we would be dead uh, ages ago, but maybe that's a positive thing. It was definitely a positive thing, I guess, because we're still uh, we're still kicking it down here. Anything can happen. You know, get some good golden chests and uh, we'll turn this right around. Good pills, Hierophant, balls of steel, whatever we can get, man. Random uh, epic fetus in a uh, secret room or something like that. We do still have 13 bombs remaining. Oh, I can't believe I got hit there. Okay, so one more hit will kill me. I really thought that was going to be it, actually. There is our secret room. Uh, and it's a fortune teller, which I have to play twice just to see if we can get a uh, spirit heart out of it. Um, you know, piecemeal, this can keep me alive. Ah, there we go, one spirit heart. So that uh, gives us a little bit more breathing room. Very, very slight amount more breathing room. Keep in mind, of course, that... Uh, Alright, there's another heart in there. Keep in mind, of course, that when we fight uh, Isaac... We're in a very bad position for fighting Isaac because uh, technology is going to cause him to fire at us like continuously. So I did pop Book of Bilal there. I should have done it earlier. Uh, but this is just uh, very simply to increase my chances of survival and not taking damage on this room. And it worked out fairly well, I would say. And we are going to be able to use it again in like another room. So, oh, it's not like it's the end of the world. Uh, still have two hearts, which means I can... We still have one heart. I can't believe I was within the explosive range there. Uh, which is okay for us. Just don't walk on the spikes by accident. That would be a terrible way to go. Uh, okay, we have these assholes who definitely warrant a Book of Belial charge, no question about it. Now, just be... Yeah, okay, I thought for sure that was actually going to be it, but we're still alive. Again, much to my surprise, quite frankly. And with one more of these dudes remaining, uh, we should be able to take him out before he has a chance to do very much damage to us. And we pick up... Ooh, no. Bumfriend picks up a single penny and gives us Pinky's Eye, which is not very effective in our current situation. So... With the one heart remaining, we continue to, you know, cling to this feudal pipe dream. That's, like, futile, not a feudal in, like, the, you know, serfdom kind of way. Now, Monstro 2, I've been wrong about this guy before. I've been like, oh, easy room, and then, oh, I'm dead, what happened? Mostly because I accidentally push him into, uh, in a position where I am no longer safe, just by, like, momentum and knockback and stuff like that, but, uh... This probably won't happen here because technology doesn't really move him around uh, and we're not really firing that fast with respect to our tiers because we do have technology. Technology 2 again to be 100% accurate, but uh, there we go. Picked up half a red heart, which actually in this situation is great because it means uh, one more room before shit, or one more hit before shit really hits the fan. So, uh, by way of our extra damage here, we were able to get through this room pretty quickly. That half heart doesn't necessarily do a whole lot for us, but this one in conjunction with that one does. Because it means that... Oh, I'm gonna get hit. There's no way around this one. Oh, whoa, maybe there is. Um, yes, this means that uh, now I can take uh, two hits before dying. The third hit will kill me, though. And I can't believe we got out of this room. I shouldn't get my chickens yet, but I can't believe we got out of this room without getting hit. Uh, and we'll continue looking for what is going to be the boss room in all hopefulness. And we're getting very close to full health. We're still not in a position at all, uh, by the way, where we can look to this and be like, Oh, we have a good chance of beating uh, Isaac. We're just not there. Um, we need uh, substantially more than we've got right now. Even if we had full health, uh, I don't think that would be enough. If we had three and a half hearts, at least, at least we get a little bit of Polaroid invincibility. Well, we do have three and a half hearts right now, of course. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head is just uh, worth taking just to take it out of the rotation. And now I'm like, shit, we really should have stuck with that um, Wheel of Fortune card. But anyway, another Monstro 2. If we even beat Isaac on this run, that is like a goddamn miracle. Uh, considering what we picked up, and moreover, what we were not able to pick up on this run. No deals with the devil. Uh, only really good item room that I had. Well, two, I had two good item rooms. I had the Angel and Technology 2. Uh, good items from the shop, admittedly, and of course we are Judas, so we started with Book of Belial. But man, like, HP, a serious sore spot over the course of this entire episode. Uh, and here we are about to fight the boss, and I'm not going to use Book of Belial in this room if possible. I'll definitely get hit on the Isaac fight, but, uh, you know, if I can get hit, uh, and get two Book of Belial charges instead of one, I don't know if Book of Belial damage actually stacks, but if it does, that could be the difference between success and, and failure, so... Instead, I'll just put up with it on this room, uh, and on the next room, which is the boss fight. Hopefully, it'll make itself uh, a little easier as a result. Beautiful. I don't even want to pick that up because I want the permanent Polaroid invincibility. So, that was um, Isaac 102 level, basically. Here we go. Let's make this happen. I We are going to have to dodge so many shots coming in here. Uh, and this is our first real test, I would say, uh, beyond, you know... The, the scope of the, uh, the difficulty we've been dealing with up to this point. 
Now, we are about 10% of the way through and have not been hit. That is uh, an early positive. Far too preliminary to say uh, if that's going to be the trend for how things go. Remember, we do have uh, Pretty Fly and Cuba Meat. Close dodging there. Uh, and I'm, I feel like I'm kind of out of my rhythm right now, so let's reset this a little bit. Didn't get hit there. We are almost on the second phase. Have yet to be hit. It's good news. Now, uh, things get a little harder as these homing shots can come in now. Hard to imagine a, uh, a run harder than this one when it comes to fighting Isaac. Technology just hitting him constantly and causing him to hit us constantly. Uh, not really. We have decent orbitals, I should say. We don't have Guardian Angel or anything like that, or like three Halo Supplies, but uh, still. We're about to enter the third phase of the Isaac fight without taking damage, and like, holy shit, it's looking like we may actually be able to get this done, which is truly remarkable, you have to admit. Uh, I didn't even expect to get past the third phase of the Isaac fight. Uh, so for this to be working out the way it is, now things are going to get more difficult here. It's in our best interest, I would say, to take out these angel fetuses. Ah! We haven't even, we did use Book of Blau once on this room already, right? Yeah, I believe so. So if we get hit again, we'll be able to use it again. Maybe I am uh, failing in my strategy to a certain extent. Maybe I should uh, focus entirely on hitting Isaac, and if I hit Angel Fetuses as well, that's good. That's good collateral damage, or co extra damage, I guess, in this situation. Can't believe I didn't get hit there. I owe the orbitals a, a big thank you. So we'll pop Book of Belial, we'll drop a bomb in here, because now if I get hit once more, then things become real tricky. Or real scary, at the very least. So Isaac is almost dead. He will drop some health, and that should be a brief reprieve. He is down, and there is a half red art for me. Oh, and now we're in a weird situation. I, I guess I should pick it up. Otherwise, we're going to die in one hit anyway, and we're not going to get invincibility. So we made it to the chest. Uh, Book of Shadows, interesting. The Relic, probably too little too late, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Uh, Ghost, baby. And Chocolate Milk. Chocolate Milk technology, I never realized. How does it work? We hold the button down, technology still fire. Okay, so this is a positive. Um... I kind of feel like I have to go Book of Shadows until I get some health back at the very least. So hopefully this, uh, you know, allows me to get some good stuff done like this. Uh, I don't know, I'm just tapping the button as fast as I can. Book of Shadows is crazy long invincibility, which I always appreciate. I, this is war, not famine. I thought, really thought that was uh, famine at first. Otherwise, I probably would have focused on him. Uh, although it's actually it's probably substantially easier to fight war solo uh, than to fight pestilence with, like, the war man chasing you. But anyway... He should be dead soon. Drop some red hearts, and I will take Book of Belial back. How about you? No, Pump Friend's not interested, apparently. All right, this is probably where uh, this this journey ends. But yep, there it is. Uh, but it was a very fun run, nonetheless. I consider that run to be a major success, despite the fact that we died. Uh, and in any case, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these series, and I appreciate uh, the... How should I say? The understanding about the fact that episodes have been a little bit... Uh, intermittent lately. We will be going back to uh, One Isaac a Day very soon, in addition to the other series. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Continue suggesting your challenge runs. I will do the ones that be most entertaining or appropriate, and I will see you next time.